Hi, I'm Doug from the product team here at Sophos, and today we're going to be taking a look at device encryption in Sophos Central. Getting started is pretty simple. If your end users are already covered by Sophos Central endpoint protection, this is a quick over-the-air push to the agent that's already installed on their machines. If they're not using endpoint protection, simply head to the Protect Devices page, download the endpoint installer, and run it on any of the machines you'd like to protect. Over in the Policies section of Sophos Central Admin, you can create a new policy or simply enable device encryption in any of your current policies. Click the Device Encryption link in the Policies section and you'll notice what may be one of the easiest products to start using in our entire lineup. It's a simple three-button policy. We're enabling encryption, and then we can choose to require users to enter their encryption credentials upon startup and encrypt only parts of the disk that actually contain data. We recommend that you not enable this setting unless you're encrypting a fresh hard drive directly after an initial operating system installation. If you've chosen to require startup authentication, your end users will get a prompt on their machines to set encryption credentials and then restart. Upon boot, they'll enter their credentials to unlock the drive, and once logged in, the disk will encrypt in the background while they work. Back in Sofo Central Admin, we'll head to the Computers page and see that our machine is in the process of being encrypted. Depending on the size of the drive and how much data is on it, this could take between a couple minutes and a couple hours, though it'll all happen in the background without disrupting the user's productivity. Now in the event that a user forgets the encryption pin or password, there are two options. First is to call the help desk, at which point you can fire up Sofo Central Admin, head to the computers page, hit the recover pin password button, and then begin entering the digits of the identifier to get a list of available drives. Once that's taken care of, hit the show key button to access the recovery pin or password. You can also head directly into the device details page for a particular computer, and in the device encryption section, find the volume that you'd like to recover and click the recover link. Give the recovery pin or password to the user and, upon boot up, they'll have the chance to enter it in the BitLocker login sequence. At this point, the key is retired and a new one created. And if you've granted them access, your users also have the ability to retrieve recovery passwords themselves by using the Sofo Central self-service portal. Once they're logged in, they'll find a recover link in the device encryption section, which behaves the same as the one used by the help desk. Sofo Central device encryption, three button policy setup, over the air deployment to existing endpoint customers, self-help recovery via Sofo Central self-service, compliance friendly logs and reports, and no management servers to install. It's device encryption made simple, powered by Sophos, and managed from anywhere.